Okay, this is a high vis spent CDC caddis, and this is a one extra long standard wire dry fly hook. And we're going to lay a base of all of 70 size ultra thread onto the hook. This is a fly that is not too hard to tie, but definitely all about proportions. Um, so the first step we're gonna do is super easy. Is we're just gonna add some tan wonder wrap to the fly. And we're gonna tie that almost all the way, a little past two thirds up the hook shank. Now we're just gonna wrap the body. Next thing we're gonna do is add some burnt orange McFlylon, and we're gonna hang it out the back, but this McFlylon comes in shanks about this thick, and you need a little bit less than half of that much to really do this fly well. And we're just gonna simply tie that in, but let it hang out the back here. You don't want that to get too far back because you're gonna use this McFlylon to split the wings here in just a second. So the closer the McFlylon is to the front, the more extreme of a, a, spend, a spent look you'll get. So the next, um, next thing we're gonna add to this fly is a couple pieces of CDC and the CDC we're just going to tie in on both sides of the McFly line here. So we'll tie in one going out this way. About like that. And then we'll tie another piece of CDC out the other way. pull it into where we want it, which is about like that. So their two wings are pretty even. Cut off the excess there. And we'll just tie those back a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some, some deer hair to this fly. So put some in the hackle stacker. And remember when you tie this, it's going to display straight out. So if you make it too long, it isn't going to look right. So you want to tie it just right about the bend of the hook or just a, maybe some of the tips just a little bit past. Got that tied in. We can cut off all these extra ends. And then what we're gonna do is just kind of push it so that we get it as close to split as possible. And we're going to pull the antron over the top, splitting the deer hair at the same time. Once you think you got it pretty even on both sides of the wing, if you got a few pieces of Antron hanging out the back, that's all right. Now all you're gonna do is just tie it off there on the front with a couple of wraps. And the very next move is to pull the Antron back to create the post. like that. Before you let the antron separate too much, you really don't want to see any of the antron from the bottom side, so you're going to just trim the antron 
just so that you have a nice bright orange visible section. Then to clean up this head and to make it look just slightly more realistic, I'm just gonna add some brown squirrel dubbing. I think brown squirrel dubbing, as you can see on almost every single one of my caddis. Um, looks like the most natural thing you can put on the front of a caddis. So we're just gonna loose, loosely dub that. Onto the front. And then put in a whip finish.